Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be doing the 20 facts about <laughs> your favorite Animax model, Alex. LOL. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and listen to all of these that I'm going to tell you. Okay, number one. I was once pre-med. LOL. Why'd you stop? What? Why'd you stop? Um, yeah, um, I decided I kind of wanted to have a life before I was like 31. And yeah, it was just a lot. Classes, med school, the biology classes, a lot of anatomy classes. I was just like, my first load, I was like, mm, better not. Uh, number two, adobo chicken is one of my favorite meals. So, yeah, I'm going to explain to you because you're like, what is that? I can already read your face. Um, so, um, my sophomore year in college, I had a Filipino roommate. She was absolutely amazing, taught me so many different meals, but she taught me how to make adobo chicken, and it is so good. I still make it all the time to this day. Number three, I have never broken a bone. Never. Mm -mm. Do you do very many risky things? I don't think I do enough, apparently. <laughs> Since I am very, yeah. Have you sprained anything? Mm -hmm. You've never oh, had a major injury? No, I mean, I had a chest contusion once. Oh, I don't know. I was doing, like, gymnastics, but that was random, so. Oh, my gosh. I know. Pretty wild. Or not wild enough, actually. <laughs> um, I have family in Germany. As you guys probably know, I am German. So I have a bunch of family over there, which is nice. I should probably go see them pretty soon. Um, I can play the violin. No, I am not going to play it on a live feed or any sort of Tell live Tell them more. How, how good can you play the violin? I can play the violin very, very well. I've been, I played it, um, I started when I was in third grade and by my like senior in high school I was like first chair and also played like the Coeur d'Alene Symphony and the youth one and yeah, so I've been playing for a very long time. I yeah, and you got a full ride. I could have gone to U of I for it. I could have gone to school for it. A full but, ride. But um, I just like fashion. Um, um, every morning when I get ready, I always watch YouTube videos. I love to watch beauty gurus. Love to stay up on the tea in the beauty community on YouTube, if you know what's Which there's on. a lot of tea right now. Uh, there is so much tea. We've got morning tea, afternoon tea, evening tea. There is um, quite a bit going on. So I've been watching quite a bit of YouTube lately. Um, I barely eat red meat. I don't know what it is. I just, I never... Isn't there like a certain blood type? I, yeah, I think it has to do with your blood type for some reason. Like just like what you gravitate towards. Because for some reason I'm never like, oh my god, I need a steak. Can't relate. I know. Elisa's like, I would like the largest sirloin available. If I can get half a cow on my plate, that'd be nice. <laughs> Literally. Um, I got to hang out with Jeezy one time, which was really cool. He came to Boise a few years ago, and I decided to fly down, meet my friends down there, go to his concert, and my like this one girl and I were like the only two. We're like, let's just go to the very front. Let's hang out. Had a few couple drinks. And um, I took a Snapchat of the DJ and I was like, that's a nice chain, I like your chain. So I was like trying to be like Donkey and Shrek when he talks about the boulder. <laughs> I don't know why, but as they were like, um, everyone was like cleaning up and there was like equipment people. I was like, hey, tell the DJ I really like his chain to the point where I put on my Snapchat. And I was like, yeah, okay. Like I didn't think it was actually gonna happen. And my friend and I are about to leave from behind us and we hear someone be like, oh, so you like my chain? And I was like, yes. And I showed him the video and he started laughing. He's like, do you guys want to come hang out with us? And Gerald on the bus. And I was like, let's go. So it was really cool. We got to hang out on the bus with them. Uh, yeah, partied with them on the bus, went to clubs. It was really funny because they, we were in a roped off like VIP section with them. And like some of my guy friends were like, we know her. And the bouncer was like, yeah, sure you do. <laughs> Which was so fun. So yeah, that was an amazing experience. I mean, I still talk to DJ Quiz like every now and then like on Snapchat to this day. Fact number nine. I never modeled before working at Nanomax, like not even a little. I didn't even take senior photos my senior year of high school, like nothing. I somehow got the job, don't know how that happened, but here we are everyone, taking photos every day. Um, number 10, I have ridden horses, ridden? Rode. Oh, number 10, I'm not good at grammar. <laughs> number 10. <laughs> 
Um, I rode horses in the jungle in Mexico and zip lined hundreds of feet back down. It was amazing. That was the first time. Which one was better? Oh, probably zip lining back down. Honestly, my horse, his name was Quavo, and I think he was a little malnourished, and so he kind of scared me when we went down like really steep slopes because his legs kind of shook, so I tried to feed him as much as possible. All right, number 11, I think everyone knows this here. I love watching ghost adventures. <laughs> like, that is my, that's my favorite. How does it not scare you? I don't know. I don't think it does. I just, I like the guys that are on there, too. They're, like, really cool. Next time we go to Vegas, his museum of things he's collected that are haunted is actually in Vegas, so... I think we should go. No. Liz is nodding so hard behind the camera. She's like, that's great. <clears throat> I think I'm sick again. <laughs> uh, 13, I have a Russell Westbrook jersey. I was a huge OKC fan. Don't get me started on the whole like, Durant Westbrook thing because then this video will be like 40 minutes long. Liz is like, mm. Is that basketball? Yeah. Oh. I can keep going. <sighs> okay. Um, a house of dudes in college were my best friends. So. I was best friends with Kappa Sigma fraternity at down, down at U of I. These guys were like like my best friends. I mean, I was at their house every single day, hanging out. Like if I ever needed something, like I would always call them. They always sent me back. Did you ever date any of them? No. Really? No, 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 no. Just don't, just don't complicate things. Also, you really think I would date someone? Well, that's true. <laughs> um, number fifteen. Uh, the Kanye West St. Pablo tour was probably the best concert I've ever been to in my life. In, when he came to Seattle, it was absolutely amazing. Key Arena. My friend hit me up. He worked at Microsoft and he was like, hey, my boss bought out seats for the entire year. Yeah, I don't even want to know the price tag on those. Like for every single concert, like you literally have seats there. Yeah. And it was by one that had like a private bar too. Like service, everything. And he's like, hey, so... My boss isn't into like Kanye and like I don't know if I really like him that much. Do you want to go? I booked my ticket so fast. I was there instantly, but it was absolutely amazing. So fun. He actually had like a floating stage that like went over the mosh pit and had lights underneath it. So it was so cool. And when the song Flashing Lights played, the entire arena went dark and it was just everyone's phones light phone lights up. It was so cool. It was good. You really had to be there. Um What's another one? Uh, I had perfect attendance in high school. If that shows you how um, popular I was, I had perfect attendance. You never missed one day? Mm -hmm. You never got sick? I did once, but it somehow got excused. Wow. I don't know. It was really bad. You were really sick, but it's okay. Um, what's another one? I don't know why I wrote this down. <laughs> So back in February in Vegas, we went and saw Magic Mike, and um, one of the dancers actually follows me now on Instagram, and I just feel like it's because we had a really deep connection. Oh my god. Is that a fact? That's what? a fact. He still follows me on Instagram. Yeah. I don't think he even knows who I am. <laughs> I think it's because we locked eyes and we just had a moment. A, mo yeah. a moment? Yeah. It's a good fact. Where I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this is kind of a personal one, but I kind of consider myself like a straight shooter. Like, I try not to, like, BS or anything, straight to the point. Um, yeah, if something happens, like, I pretty much own it. Or I might even call you out on it, Elisa. <laughs> There's nothing to call her out on. I know how much you watch Bridesmaids. That's what my facts should have been. Number 18, Elisa and I almost know Bridesmaids line for line. <laughs> It's true. We literally just quoted it again before this video. It, there's always a bridesmaid's quote for every situation. There, there is. When we were on the plane, <laughs> I have to go to the dentist afterwards. She told me I don't need dental work. <laughs> just everything. So yeah, top favorite movie. That's probably it. That's probably one of my top favorite movies. Same. Um, 19. I got to meet Manny Mua, so that was really cool. We went to BeautyCon. Um, he was awesome. I did not. Well, <laughs> I did not see like one pore on his face, so I'm pretty sure that guy's just like made of magic. And um, number 20, I may or may not have a man in my life. Oh my gosh. Show us a picture. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fear pressure. Fear pressure. Y'all ain't ready. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll release a photo at prom. 
Oh Maybe that's how my you know. Guys, gosh. I'll know. I'll just bring in the prom. Oh my gosh. And they'll be like, "Who's that?" I'm like, guys, Here if you is. know Alex, you know this is a really big deal. This is really big for me. Like, a huge I don't deal. This. I, I don't. Yeah. Are you gonna tell us anything about him? Name, height. He's tall. He's tall. Check. Is he a basketball guy? Yes, he lives like basketball. He's Whoa. blonde. Oh, blonde, blonde babies. Super cool. Likes rap and hip hop. So. <laughs> He's blonde, plays basketball, and likes rap and hip-hop. Yep. That's all you get. <laughs> so, everyone, go start your hunt. Find him on Instagram. Start your hunt. That should be, like, if you can figure out his name, I don't know what my prize would You'll be. You'll win a prize. You'll win a prize. <laughs> I'll send you something. Wow. It's like a DM, like, good job. No, I didn't actually do that. But, yeah, so that was probably my biggest fact. <sighs> Maybe sweat a little. Your mom's gonna watch this. Oh no. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with that phone call. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna send your mom the link as soon as this is posted. I'm gonna, I don't like that at least my mom her friend. Right <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I think she kinda knows too though, because she's like, what, what were you doing this weekend? And I was like, oh, I was out voting. She's like, with who? And I'm like, oh, with the... <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Yeah, so, um, wow. Yeah, that was probably my craziest. That was my most wild fact. Wow. And this is a big moment. Crazy wild fact. Was that no fact? Was that number, uh, number 20? Yeah. Proud of you, boo. Thank you. But yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so those were the 20 facts about me. Hopefully you found out some things that you didn't know before, or if you already knew it, congrats, and you actually do know me. But um, yeah, so we are actually doing a giveaway with this video, so all you have to do is like this video, comment down below what your favorite fact was about me, and I'm going to send you one of my favorite fall pieces from all of our collections that are coming in. So yeah, in one week's time, I will be picking a winner, 